On the line, let's take a look at the tail of the tape presented by Proper 12 Irish Whiskey, the finest, the tastiest, the smoothest liquid gold in the world. The Mexican five years older than the Brazilian. It is Rodriguez that stands two inches taller, both on point at weigh-ins. Karina Rodriguez will have a three-inch reach advantage. For our main event introductions, and to get this one started, here is Joe Martinez. Well, ladies and gentlemen, live on Axis around the world from Fight Church here in Kansas City, Kansas, this is the main event of the evening. Five rounds of action scheduled for the Invicta FC Flyweight Championship of the World. Sanctioned by the Kansas Athletic Commission, the executive director is Adam Rohrbach. The three judges scoring at cage side, Kevin Champion, Stephen Graham, and David Sutherland. And when the action begins inside the cage, your referee in charge, once again, Marcio La Selva. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready, the fighters are ready, Fight fans watching live, let the world know you are ready! Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist weighs 125 pounds. Standing five feet, five inches tall in 13 professional fights, her record, 10 victories with three defeats. Fighting out of Florianapolis, Santa Catarina, Brazil, here is Diana Torquato! And across the cage, her opponent fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist stands five feet, seven inches tall. She weighed in officially 124 and three quarter pounds and in 12 professional fights, holds a record of eight victories and four defeats. Presentando la hija de Puebla, Mexico, Karina Rodriguez. Went over the rules earlier today. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands all the time. Protect yourself all the time. If you want to shake hands, do it now. On my command, come back swinging. No shake of hands there between these flyweights. It is Mexico's Karina Rodriguez taking on Brazil's Diana Torquato. TJ DeSantis, Megan Anderson, Julie Kedzie inside Fight Church, Kansas City, Kansas. This is the main event of Invicta on Access. Rodriguez in the black with pink, black and red for the Brazilian Torquato. Our clock powered by Juju Me. Fight premature aging with Juju Me's high grade, high uh, Juju Bees, the ultimate unknown superfood. Torquato has the best death face. Kick to the lead leg of Rodriguez early by the Brazilian. We talked about the inactivity for Karina Rodriguez. She was a bit of a slow starter in her Porto fight. How important is it to get her fight going here in th these early rounds, Julie? Well, she's fighting a completely different fighter than Porto. Torquato's got a, um, of course, you know, Porto was a brilliant champion, but Tor Torquato's got a very sharp inside yes. game. Oh. Her dirty boxing, her clinching is really strong, so I think it would really behoove Karina Rodriguez to be on the outside, to be striking a lot and moving a lot. Strike and pick, strike and pick, move, move, move. Don't let Torquato get the inside line. Ninety seconds down here in this opening round. Nice. Combination of punches sort of stopping the Brazilian in her tracks. A big right but now, Torquato able to close the distance. Uppercut finds a home. Rodriguez trying to punch out of this situation. And that's where Torquato does her best work. She has an absolutely iron Muay Thai clinch, and she's able to generate so much power in those small spaces, which, you know, Rodriguez did a really good job attempting to create space, get out on the outside again to be able to set up her own strikes. Brazilian able to close distance, initiate this clinch. We'll see if she can control Rodriguez here. Now going to the plum. Invicta making its debut on Access tonight. We're back in just three weeks for the Phoenix series. It is Adam Waits that will take center stage. Eight women, 
one night, three fights for the winner. Do not miss the Phoenix Series. Unlike any other combat sports experience, it is live Friday, June 11th, only on Access. Women really trading here in this first round, just past the halfway point of this round. Flyweight Championship of the World hanging in the balance. Karina Rodriguez taking on Diana Torquato. Do you like the kicks here, Megan, from Rodriguez? I really would like to see her set them up a little bit more. She's throwing them a little naked, which, you know, I think throwing throwing a couple strikes to the kicks or setting it up with like feints is going to be able to land them a lot better uh, but you know she's showing a lot of patience she's she's setting up those punches but in these exchanges she's just a little bit behind Torquato and she's not able to kind of really capitalize on that momentum Julie your thoughts on the Brazilian strategy here early oh I think she's doing a brilliant job of setting control of the middle of the ring or excuse me the cage and also setting control of the pace of this fight you know again rodriguez can be a slow starter at times but torquato is taking complete advantage of that and she's doing a really nice job initiating and disengaging hard which is not to say rodriguez isn't having her moments because she's landing pretty hard herself Four minutes down here in this beautiful combination. First round of the main event, combination there on display. Kick the lead leg of Rodriguez by Torquato. Rodriguez's head is slightly stationary, so a lot of Torquato's strikes are landing, whereas Torquato is bringing her head off the center line, so she's able to kind of slip a lot of those counter punches that Rodriguez is throwing. Trying to utilizing uh, the needs of the body is Torquato. Rodriguez trying to answer some of her own. And I love the way she started that combo. TJ, she went for the leg and just slid right up with the strikes. That's really nice. Did it one more time there. She's blending it all well. Mm -hmm. Nice knee. Ooh, nice knee. Makes Ooh. Torquato take a step back and get back at space. And that's where Rodriguez, she loves a firefight. Oof. Ooh, nice right hand wow. by the Brazilian. Rodriguez trying to answer final 10 seconds of this opening round. Five minutes in the books of this championship fight. We are headed to round two. It's Invicta on access. We are headed to round number two in this flyweight championship fight. It is Invicta FC on access TV. The Brazilian Diana Torquato taking on Mexico's Karina Rodriguez, TJ DeSantis, Julie Kedzie, Megan Anderson, how they see uh, round number one on the judges' scorecards? We've got two 10-9s for Torquato and one 10-9 for Karina Rodriguez. So, you know, somewhat split with the judges. It was a very co close round. I think, you know, Rodriguez came back there towards the end of the round, was able to, you know, really pick up her pace a little bit, do a little, a little bit more damage than she did in the first half of that round. So it'll, it'll be intriguing to see how the next couple of rounds go and how the judges score it. And that's what open scoring is all about. Both these athletes have the information necessary to make the adjustments. Any adjustments you'd like to see here by either athlete, Julie? Well, I definitely like to see uh, Rodriguez open up and move laterally more. I agree. Um, I think she's kind of lingering a little bit too much. She's leaving her limbs out there too long at times, and she's leaving herself a little bit too open for the counter shot. As for Torquato, I, re Torquato, excuse me, I remember during the interview, she said she was looking for a head kick knockout. Um, I, I, I'm wondering if that's actually going to happen here. I, I think she's, she, I do see her looking for that in her movement. But I have to say, I do love the way she strikes high, low, high, low, high, low. Um, like you said, Megan, she blends beautifully. But man, when you hear Rodriguez land a kick, it's just like smash. I don't ever want her to kick me. I agree with that. <laughs> 90 seconds down here in round number two. Nice kick, finds the lead leg of Rodriguez. Faith. Combination of punches there by the Mexican fighter. We've seen the teammates of Karina Rodriguez fight in Invicta before. Notably, Alexa Grasso, Irene Aldana, Karina Rodriguez wants to bring home that first Invicta title to her Lobo gym. 
On Friday, June 11th, Invicta FC is back on Access TV for the Phoenix Series as Adam Waits takes center stage in a one-night tournament unlike any other. It's Invicta FC on Access TV with the Phoenix Tournament, Friday, June 11th. We saw a very nice slip on the kick and Torquato taking advantage of that and really landing a hard shot. I get so lost in their movement. Halfway point here of round number two. Nice. Torquato's counter striking is just so beautiful. She lands every time. Oof. Now we're going to single leg as a Brazilian. I think this is what she needs to do, is even if she doesn't get the takedown, she's, she's blending it together to be able to set up her striking because Rodriguez is now thinking, is she going to strike? Is she going to take down? It sets up a lot more in the long term. And I think that's the fight that Rodriguez was prepared for, just looking at her clinch and her cage work. You know, she's frantic when she's up against the, the fence. She knows she doesn't want to be there with Tor Torquato. I think the striking has surprised her. I think so, too. Torquato is very accurate with everything she throws, and she's very energy efficient. Mm -hmm. Like, she's throwing with a lot of power, and that's one thing she really wanted to showcase is she moved to a new gym, and she sees herself, you know, she's got a lot more power since moving to a new gym, and she's really wanting to showcase that this round, uh, this fight, sorry. Well, I'd say it's successful. I agree. <laughs> I would like to see her faint and set up to Counter-Strike a little bit more, draw those punches out with feints, get Rodriguez baiting. But Rodriguez is doing a really good job of, of utilizing that jab, using those front teeps, uh, just attempting to control the range. One minute left here in round number two. The Brazilian firing punches. I poke, I think. Oh, but she's, not gonna she's not going to stop. She's not going to stop. Torquato shouldn't stop unless nope. the referee intervenes. And that's really frustrating. If you did get eye poked and the ref didn't see it, but you can't stop. You just have to keep fighting. We'll see if we can find that later oh, on. Oh, she's replay, targeting it. It is the athlete's job to continue fighting until the referee stops you, and that's what Dana Torquato is doing. And game is Karina Rodriguez trying to fight through it. Absolutely. Kick to the body, finds a home for Rodriguez. Coming forward with a combination of punches. Torquato answers with a combo of her own. Final 10 seconds here in round number two. Nice right hand for Karina Rodriguez. Our main event is underway. We are headed to round number three. It's in yes. FC on exit. Oh. Very... I think we saw a very pissed off Rodriguez. We will see if that uh, aggression carries through into this third round. The uh, referee taking care of some uh, water on the floor. Obviously, uh, safety is paramount. When we look at that uh, final moments of that round, Megan, was that enough to solidify that round for Karina Rodriguez? Yeah, definitely. A knockdown is considered the highest scored. Uh, you know, and, and if it was a very close round, which it was, that that is the defining moment of the round. Third round underway, our flyweight championship. Main event of Invicta FC on Access TV. We see the judges there. Two of them have it even. One judge seeing Karina Rodriguez up 2-0. We'll see if that uh, big moment there for Karina Rodriguez actually changes the uh, aggression and forward uh, movement of Diana Torquato here in this fight. You mentioned the aggression there, Julie, of Karina Rodriguez. You can feel it. Uh, this is that momentum we talked about with how she fights and likes to bite down on that mouthpiece and fight you. Yeah, I think she needs to be mad sometimes to fight. And I, I understand, you know, emotion can work against a fighter, but I think the eye poke, again, we didn't see a replay of the eye pokes. I don't know, you know, if it was deliberate or not. I sincerely doubt it. But she got mad. And that's fun because she really does pick it up when she gets mad. And she's really picking it up at the start of this third round. She's landing a lot of those strikes. And I think this is where we see Rodriguez start to do her best work. Like we mentioned earlier, she's a bit of a slow starter. I think we needed those first two rounds for her to kind of 
you know, step it up a little bit or like get pissed off, as you said, Julie. But I think we're really starting to see Rodriguez find her timing, find her flow, and really catch the rhythm of Torcado. And you can see her posture has changed. She's the one that's taking the center of the cage thus far in this third round, making Torquato sort of respond to her initiative. Yeah, she's utilizing those feints a little bit more, making Torquato bite on those feints, setting that up for those big strikes. You know, uh, it was Mike Tyson who said, everybody's a plan until you get punched in the face. And I think uh, Rodriguez's plan when she gets punched in the face is to go into kill mode. Right. <laughs> Attacking that lead leg is the Brazilian. Ooh, nice hey. punch rattles the jaw of Rodriguez, but she fired back with the right hand of her own. Torcado's power is just totally underrated. And it's funny, watching her in the Phoenix series, she did so much of a grappling-based game plan that we never got to see this showcase. And now it's like, oh, it's butter. Ooh, nice combination. Finds a home for Rodriguez, but Torquato answering again. Trying to counter that kick with the right hand is Rodriguez. Halfway point of the round and fight. Combination of punches by Torquato. I feel like Rodriguez is really starting to mix up her strike selection. She's she's going for more leg kicks. She's she's kind of going for the body. She's striking the head. She's really setting it up now. She's really starting to catch her rhythm. These athletes definitely going for it. Clash of shins there on that kick. Doubling up on the jab is Rodriguez. Combination finished with a kick to the lead leg by Torquata. This combination of punches, we see uh, a lot of volume here by Rodriguez. I think that's where that confidence and aggression and anger is growing, Julie. Mm -hmm. I think that high volume is going to nullify the str like the power that Torcado brings. Even though she's landing, it's, she's only landing one or two punches, whereas Rodriguez is landing three, four, five, and that is going to sh pay dividends in the eyes of the judges. It is, and it's also going to get into Torcado's head a little bit. That was a nice shot, though, by the Brazilian. But it is, you know, she's going to think twice. Oh, beautiful. Or not. She's going to hit her right in the face. Or it's going to force her to pick up her pace as well. Like every fight, like it, it is it is almost like an instinctual reaction that you get hit. You want to hit your opponent back twice as much to be able to get that point back. And one of the things that Torquato is so good at, um, especially with her, you know, grappling, is getting those inside lines like that, right? It, when... Uh, Rodriguez is on and when she's moving it's really hard to get that inside line and Torquato is on the outside with her attacks which doesn't quite have as much power approaching the final moments here of round number three this is our main event flyweight championship of the world on the line Karina Rodriguez Diana Torquato going to work trying to solidify this round we are headed to the championship rounds you're watching Invicta FC on Access TV We are back live here on Access TV. Our main event's underway. Karina Rodriguez taking on Diana Torquato, TJ DeSantis, Julie Kedzie, Megan Anderson here inside Fight Church in Kansas City. Megan, your thoughts on the last round? That was a very close round. I think it really came down to volume. Uh, judges scored, two of the judges scored it for Karina Rodriguez, one for Diana Torquato, and uh, I really want to see Torcado up her volume in this round. I think she, while she's countering very well and she's got a ton of power, she needs to throw higher volume to match Karina's. Otherwise, I think the volume is just going to you know, help Rodriguez kind of run away with the stats. These are where champions are made in these final two rounds, rounds four and five. Long dubbed the championship rounds and 
uh, you know, pace, momentum really needs to be uh, on your side, Julie, if you plan on you're really setting the tone and making sure you walk away with the championship. It absolutely does. It, it imprints on the judges' minds what happens in these rounds. And, you know, it's also when the athletes are definitely more tired. Um, the output, I think, from both fighters has been just tremendous. I, I think they've done an extraordinary job. I would like to see them up their pace. I would like to see, you know, more combinations from Torquato, more initiations from Torquato, but also Rodriguez is just getting right in her face right now, which actually could be slightly dangerous for her. I, um, would, I would love Torquato to incorporate some of her wrestling in jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Let's, let's, you know, it's been a very much a stand-up battle, which as a fight fan, love to see, but if she has a, a an advantage on the ground, let's use it. Yeah, where's that single leg to the uppercut? That was nice. And mixed martial arts is the level playing field when it comes to grappling, but on paper, Torquato, a brown belt in Brazilian mm -hmm. Jiu-Jitsu, where Rodriguez, just a blue belt. I mean, belt colors can just be colors, or they can be indicators of, yeah, your level of ability on the ground. I know that sounds trite to say, but, you know, which is why I bring up mixed martial arts being the yeah. level playing field. The old statement is you take a black belt, put him on the floor, punch him in the face, and become a brown belt, then a purple belt, then a blue belt. We'll see if Torquato tries to test the ground skills of Karina Rodriguez, but right now she has her hands full on the feet. And what's interesting is Torquato has such nice clinch fighting. She's really good at throwing elbows and uppercuts and stuff in the clinch, but she just doesn't seem to be able to get a hold of Rodriguez long enough to do damage. So we saw it at the end of that last round. Uh, a little bit and a nice knee. Past the halfway point of round number four, both of these athletes fighting in the championship rounds for the first time in their careers. Looking at the uh, judges' scorecards, I think it was interesting to see one judge has scored every round thus far for Karina Rodriguez. Yeah, definitely, particularly after that first round. That was very intriguing, but. Um, you know, both of them have had significant moments in each round. It has been incredibly close. So it is such a hard fight to score. It is, and it's really hard to say. I, I know that sounds silly, hard to say who's winning a fight, but our job is to say what's going on in there, not necessarily, you know, we're critiquing their technique and we're complimenting their technique and we're just calling the action like you do, TJ. And a lot of the times the judges are looking for specific things. And each judge has a different mind. There is clear-cut criteria, but a lot of that is up to uh, perception. And mm -hmm. right now, Karina Rodriguez trying to land a combination, getting tactical with her movement. A lot of movement here trying to get Torquato to open up so she can find a strike that lands. And one thing I've felt critical about Torquato's techniques in the past is that she didn't seem very explosive. I take that back. <laughs> completely in this fight. I think she's a very explosive fighter. Um, love to see those explosions now. <laughs> Combination lands there by Torquato, trying to get inside the clinch, but Rodriguez having none of it. Now we see some head movement by the Brazilian on display. Ooh. Beautiful counter strike by Rodriguez. There. And one thing Rodriguez does so well is that Lobo shell. I mean, it's basically keeping your hands up, but fighters from that gym are so good at getting those hands right back to where they need to be. A cut opened up underneath the right eye of Diana Tor Torquato. It's in a good spot, obviously not gonna impair her vision, but some damage on display here from the hands of Karina Rodriguez. Rodriguez is doing a really good job of circling to her right and almost uh, shaking back in with that right hand and is doing a lot of damage. Four rounds in the books. We are headed to the fifth and final next. It's Invicta FC on Access TV. Invicta FC taking place inside Kansas City's Pal Gym. It is Fight Church. And one more round to settle the score between these flyweights. The championship hanging in the balance. Megan Anderson, how do you see it through four? Well, it's not about what I see, it's what the judges see. And the judges, all three scored that last round, 10-9 for Rodriguez. So we have a 40-36, a 38-38, and a 39-37 in favor of Rodriguez. And Torcado needs to either up her volume and she needs to look for a finish. She needs to finish this round. And 
And this is where open scoring can get interesting and dangerous for the fighter who is up on the cards, right? Or who believes that they're up. Oh, well, I guess they wouldn't believe they're up if it's open scoring. <laughs> but that is one thing that we actually don't know. We don't know yeah. if the, the corners are articulating where the scores are to their fighter. It is optional. The fighters don't see the scores. They have to be told by their mm -hmm. corner. And, and that's one thing is, is if Rodriguez does know that she's up, she needs to, you know, complacency can be a thing. Absolutely. Bec when you know that you're winning, on, on one judge's scorecard, four rounds to none, you cannot become complacent because, you know, Torcado is in a very, very dangerous position right now. She knows she needs to finish and she knows she needs to go out there and absolutely put on a performance in this last round. And I think Rodriguez just indicated she thought she got poked in the eye again. Um, she mad. In Vic FC making its debut on Access TV tonight. We are back once again on Friday, June 11th with the Phoenix Tournament. Eight Adam Waits will look to solidify their status among the elite in the 105 pound division. Do not miss the Phoenix tournament only on Access TV. Now, every we've seen Torquato op open with three like clinch exchanges, and we've seen Rodriguez do the same frame every single time. And I, again, I think that's the fight she was preparing for that clinch fight up against that cage um, to prevent being taken down to the ground. It was a nice frame up against the neck. Now here, she's in trouble, or not. Rodriguez able to stop the takedown, stay on her feet, land a Ooh. combination of punches to get off the fence. And I think like with the last round, Julie, we said, we, you know, Torquato potentially has an advantage on the ground, being able to do it to ground belt. However, she's not able to take her to the ground. She's not, we're seeing that Karina Rodriguez's is takedown defense has improved tremendously since she started here in Invicta and she's showcasing that tonight. And maybe it's just a point of Torcado is not able to, to even take it to the mat because Rodriguez is kind of stopping all of her avenues. 100% Rodriguez said she worked on the ground game. She said, I don't want to be put on my back. I know how to get back up. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to be taken down. What Torquato is doing very, very well, though, in early rounds and just now is implementing that takedown into the striking, blending those together, as you said beautifully. Um, using the fake takedown to hit somebody is, I think, an amazing tactic in MMA. I agree. But Rodriguez is utilizing that frame so well. She's getting that forearm right under the chin of Torquato and not enabling her to level change, which she needs for the takedown. 90 seconds left in this fifth and final round. Flyweight Championship of the World on the line. Diana Torquato now trying to take down Karina Rodriguez. Again, unable to do so, but she has this clinch. Rodriguez fighting through it, and again, gets back at space. you got to give it to Torquato, though. She is putting it all out there. She's going for the takedown. She's going for the big shot. She's going for the finish, which she knows she needs to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she wants to win this fight. She wants this belt. I think she would probably try to fight another five rounds after this. And I think Rodriguez would want it. Ooh. There's only 50 seconds left here in this fight to keep it out of the judges' hands. Brazilian bleeding underneath that right eye, but still coming forward, trying to make something happen. 30 seconds left. Going forward is Torquato. Couple punches find the chin of Rodriguez. Final 10 seconds in this championship bout. Twenty-five minutes in the books between these flyweights. The judges will have to tally their tens and nines to render a decision crowning a new champion. A fun fight back and forth. Julie, we saw one judge really side with Rodriguez throughout. The other judges were a, a bit mixed in what they saw. And 
you know, will lean on them tonight, but open scoring, it provides a lot of perspective, and I think uh, it does impact how these fighters approach the uh, latter parts of, of these fights strategically. It certainly does, and I mean, look at this, I mean, just so much power from Torquato and so much of a response from Rodriguez. Like, I just, this was such an exciting fight and such a statement to the, about the flyweight division and what the title means. Um, oh my gosh, that drop right at the end and we weren't saying anything, we were so impressed. You know, there, there were incredible moments in this fight. Both of these fighters really displayed some tremendous boxing, tremendous striking. And, you know, I, I was very impressed with Rodriguez's defense against the cage. Our fight recap brought to you by Work From Home. Visit them at WFHLife.com, the only brand exclusively focused on work from home. Soft, comfortable, and fashionable. Save up to 60% at WFHLife.com. Karina Rodriguez, Diana Torquato, they go 25 minutes in our main event. The judges have tallied their 10s and 9s. We will see how they lean as we look to crown a new Invicta FC flyweight champion. For our result, here is Joe Martinez. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and here are the totals. Kevin Champion scores at 50-45. Stephen Graham, 49-46. David Sutherland, 48-47. All for your winner by unanimous decision. And now she becomes the first Mexican to capture an MMA World Championship. La hija de Puebla, Mexico, Karina Rodriguez. Mexico has their Invicta FC champion, Karina Rodriguez, getting it done by unanimous decision. When we come back.